the former presidents are now walking in, uh, President Clinton, President Bush, and President Obama, they will be joining uh, the uh, new president, President Biden. John, uh, this, is a, this is a symbolically very significant moment. Very important to the new president's effort to start off with a message of unity. Very important to the new president's effort to start off with a message of respect. Something, frankly, uh, Donald Trump never got about the power of the presidency and the exclusivity of the president's club. Uh, Bill Clinton ran against George H.W. Bush. Wolf, we both covered that campaign. It was a very, very tough campaign. They became friends. Uh, George W. Bush ran against Al Gore, but very much against the character crises of the Bill Clinton presidency. Barack Obama ran against John McCain, but very much against George W. Bush's Iraq War. There they are. They understand the power of the presidency, the stress of the job, the responsibility of the job. And so they are part of a unique club that Trump will never be welcome in. Uh, Donald Trump never picked up the phone as president to call the former presidents, to ask for their advice, to kick around an idea. Uh, you can bet that Joe Biden will pick up the phone. Obviously, he'll call his friend Barack Obama. He was his vice president. But you can bet within weeks or months we will hear of a phone call to George W. Bush or Bill Clinton to talk about some big issue on the plate, just to solicit their ideas because he respects their work. He respects the pressure. He respects the institution. We never had that the past four years. We do again today. Jamie Gangel is getting some uh, reaction. Uh, what are you hearing from these three former presidents, Jamie? Well, just to underscore what John King just said, this is the club of formers that Donald Trump is not going to be a part of. Obviously, Jimmy Carter uh, couldn't travel for this, but this is a group that um, there should be another former president in this picture today if he had uh, lived up to the office, and he did not. The other thing, uh, in addition to what John King said about uh, Joe Biden reaching, President Biden, excuse me, reaching out to, uh, to speak to these three, they have, you can be sure, already said to him, if there's anything you need, we're here for you. But they understand that they're respectful, they're not going to speak out, uh, they will keep to the code of trying to be respectful of his time in office.